Let us make mpo fish from scratch. This recipe is going to be detailed, step by step, and beginner friendly. Keep watching ahead. Hello, hello, beautiful family. How is it going? I trust everyone is doing amazing. If you're new here, a very big welcome to you. Please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification. Trust me, you're going to love everything on here. We are going to make in Cameroonian pool fish from scratch. Everything from scratch. Trust me, keep watching ahead because this recipe, you will need it and it's detailed. First off, we are going to be starting to peel our on ripe plantains, that's the green plantains, because you want to make the, the powder, that's a plantain powder. Sometimes some people already have like the market bought plantain powder, but since we are in diaspora, it's so hard to get it here unless you order it from back home. So this recipe is really diaspora friendly, okay? So if you're craving for poor fish, do not worry, cloudy got you, we're gonna make this from scratch. So right now I'll peel off my plantain and I'll go ahead to slice it in thin slices so that we can easily dry it out. Keep watching ahead because I will be showing you the rest of the ingredients we will be needing for this recipe. So if you need this um shredder i will put the link in the description box for you to check it out on amazon okay so after shredding everything out this is how it's gonna be like it's like one of fried chips so we are making it thin so that they can really dry off quickly in a baking pan i'll just line that up with some aluminum foil if you have parchment paper that's fine if you have a non-stick baking pan that's still good please do not use oil okay so transfer there then try to spread it out in such a way that they are not clumped up on each other or clumped together so stretch it out like this just oh, sorry spread it out not stretch spread it out so it dries evenly in the oven when it clumps up together it will take a long time to dry so i think mine is looking good like this it's gonna go to the oven on big 400 degrees fahrenheit for about 20 minutes and after 20 minutes turn off the oven and let it stay in the oven so it finished drying and after that this is how it's looking so guys this recipe can be a plan ahead recipe okay but if you don't have if you have enough time you can do it the same day but this recipe or advise you to do it a plan ahead so that when it dries in the oven just leave it there overnight and it's gonna dry perfectly transfer into a blender and blend perfectly my blender is a vitamix the dry container it blends so easily so i would suggest you to use a dry blender for this or if you want to blend with water i don't know how that's gonna work okay so i've already taken out the one we will be using for today transferring the rest into a container to preserve for later so right now we have the rest of the ingredients here i will be using two types of fish and i have tilapia and mackerel it has been scaled gutted perfectly washed and ready to be cooked you must not use the same fish okay use any fish of your choice so i'm going to bring this closer for the rest of the ingredients right here i have some seasoning powder fresh onion i saved some of that to saute from the beginning some white pepper please do not miss this out another important fl um, flavor or ingredient I use is cloves. We call it Cameroon stick matches. And we have the plantain powder right there. We have jangsa and pepper, fresh pepper. If you don't love pepper, you can skip the pepper out or you can reduce it or add it. Just adjust the pepper according to your own spicy level. I have ginger and garlic paste here. If you don't want to use ginger and garlic paste, you can skip it out, but I love it in my pool fish. I don't want people coming in the comment section and telling me how to make pool fish, okay? This is how I make mine. If you want, you don't want to use some of the ingredients here, perfect. If you want to add it, up to you okay some of us sometimes we are fond of coming on other people's videos as i said oh that's not how they cook that that's not how they cook that this is how i love mine if you want to make yours same like mine good so right now i'm just gonna blend everything until it is pureed 100 smooth transfer into a bowl now combine all the ingredients together inside 
that bowl okay that's the seasoning powder and everything you got there except the fish i'll put the fish when i transfer my mixture into the pot because i want to like prevent splashes and all that if you want to put the fish at this point up to you So from pool fish, add a little bit of water because it tends to thicken inside the pot. But be careful not to add too much of water because when it is runny or like watery, there's nothing you can do to adjust it for it to be thick. Okay, so in a pot, I will just add in some oil. Then let's get to saute some onion until it turns brown. When it turns brown, like it, it has really emitted a lot of that beautiful flavor. Okay, so when it's looking like this, you can now bring in that pool raw mixture into the pot then you can bring your fish inside cover the pot and let it cook so guys here is the thing about water in pool fish avoid not to put too much water before you transfer into a pot let it let the pot cook and thicken before you adjust the water according to your preference okay you can see at this point i put just a little bit of water because you are not going to know if it's going to be enough the only time you're going to know is when your pot is boiling or cooking that's when it thickens and it's at that point you're gonna know if you need more water or not so at this point it has cooked for about 15 minutes you see how thick is that is just okay for me you see that just okay if this one is too thick for you you can go ahead and add water but if you want it extra thicker you can wait for it to cook for a longer time but trust me your fish is going to overcook and all the ingredients in there are going to overcook and your soup will start losing that beautiful flavor of fragrance so right now our poor fish has cooked for about 15 minutes it is so flavorful good yummy savory you name it okay i'm just gonna transfer into a serving pan here for poo fish you can serve this with some plantain some people told me they like eating it with rice too i've never ever tried that i've eaten it with plantains only and trust me that's the perfect combo ever so guys i told you this recipe is detailed yes it is detailed if you are in diaspora this recipe is diaspora friendly do not miss bull fish okay this is how to make it don't miss home that much because of bull fish cloudy has all the recipes for you guys if you're in diaspora i got shubenya in cameroon you can just go to the market don't stress yourself and get the already ground plantain okay so guys we've come to the end of our video for today i hope you love this recipe check check out my other recipes if you are into cameroonian fish beef i have all that in the playlist you can check it out so guys thank you so so much for watching i appreciate the love the comments the like and everything to meet again in my video my next video bye for now i love you all guys i love you i really do stay safe bye bye